second video here, I just want to show you guys how you would do the same process in Scratch because I realized for the first two e-learning weeks uh, you guys did do work in Scratch and you were supposed to have created a small game based on the tutorials that we put up. So if you want to stay with Scratch for the rest of this unit in your AP game submission, you can. You can use the Scratch game you've already started and you can elaborate on that and build on that and we can turn that in for your AP uh, um, app or game design. So here's an example. I've got an easy little block here with a forever loop and four conditionals and what this does is it allows me to, when I click and flag, control my sprite. Up, down, left, right. Up, change x or y by 10. Down, change y by negative 10. Right, change x by 10 left change x by negative 10. So if I want to do abstraction here I want to make a block that says move sprite and put all these conditionals inside of it here's how you do it in scratch in case you didn't already know over here we've got my blocks and if you click on that you can click make a block here it's a little different from snap so here's where you type the name I'm just gonna say move player um, I don't need any inputs because all it is is an abstraction. It's going to contain other code. Um, and I'll hit OK. So here's Move Player. And in Scratch, it's a little different. They want me to define Move Player right here. So this is kind of like already the edit screen in Snap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my movement conditionals, not the forever loop, but the movement conditionals right under here. So now that is my definition for move player. Now that doesn't actually move the player. This block moves the player. So now if I take this move player block and put it here, click green flag, do you see how this highlighted? Now this is running and my character's moving. And here is essentially my code now, which is way more abstract because I took all of this and put it inside this pink block and made it look a lot more simple. So that's the idea of abstraction and that's how you would do it also in Scratch. All right, good luck. So you can do this in Scratch too.